What's up guys, my name is Kelvin Wiley, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a very special video. As you can see, I am currently holding four Loxosilis Reclusa, which are the Brown Recluse. Before I continue the rest of this video, I just want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Leif Collects Bugs. Without him, I would not be able to make this video possible. So, it's a recent friend of mine who actually caught five brown recluses for me. He lives in an area where they are extremely common. Unfortunately, I do not live in an area where uh, I have brown recluses native to me, but that is okay. That's what friends are for. The fifth one is currently eating, which is why I'm not holding it at the moment. I didn't want to disturb it. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much again, man. I'm going to leave his social media in the description box below so you can go check him out and follow him. All right, I'm going to put three of these away and just hold on to one for the rest of the video because holding on to four is just not doable right now. <laughs> this infamous spider right here is Loxoselles reclusa, the brown recluse. Now, these spiders are in the gym. As you can see, they're very fast. Sorry about that. Sometimes you'll hear people call them fiddleback spiders and also violin spiders. They get their name violin spider because of that violinish like icon symbol right in the middle of its carapace. It does kind of look like a violin when viewed up close. But these spiders are in the genus Loxoselles. There are approximately 143 different species of recluse spiders within this genus. The brown recluse, Loxoselles reclusa, is arguably the most famous out of the genus. Oh, bear with me. <laughs> there it is. All right. The brown recluse is in the spider family known as Sicariidae, and there are two distinctions of spiders within this family. The first are recluse spiders, like the brown recluse, and then the others are known as six-eyed sand spiders. Here in the US where I live, there are currently 13 different species of recluse spiders. But like I said, there's 143 different species of recluse spiders, and they can actually be found worldwide. Recluses can be found in Asia, South America, Africa, so there are not just the brown recluse. The brown recluse can be found in Midwestern and also Southeastern states in the US. This one was collected in Texas. So really quickly, I just wanted to share with you guys some stickers that I have for sale on my website. All of these are of various animals that I drew on paper, and then I converted those drawings into stickers. Just to give you an idea of what they look like up close, all of these stickers are extremely durable, they're long lasting, and they are also waterproof as well. This is of a Southern Black Widow that I drew, and as you can see, these are all legit hand drawings that I've made using those markers right there. So if any of you would like to support my small business, you can head on over to kelvinwiley.net. Again, that is kelvinwiley.net. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for supporting my website, but also supporting this channel as well. And now, back to the video. You'll hear a lot of reports of people finding these spiders living in their homes. And unfortunately that does happen, not just brown recluses, but a lot of other arthropods will make their way into human infrastructures. Um, but the brown recluse typically is, um, like its name suggests, reclusive. <laughs> they are a solitary species of spider and they will typically live in dark, warm, kind of like crevice like areas um, people will you know if they leave their shoes out people may find them in their shoes or in their clothes or you know they'll typically kind of seclude themselves within certain things now because brown recluses will typically find themselves in areas where people are at 
um, you know, like homes, workplaces, etc. Oftentimes, unfortunately, people will get bitten by these spiders. These spiders uh, will not just go and bite you for no apparent reason. Um, just and that kind of goes for every other spider actually spiders just don't bite for no reason There has to be a cause to why they bite and as you saw in the beginning of the video and as you can see now uh, They can be freely handled without any problems spiders like the brown recluse Will bite if they feel trapped like let's say I had the spider in my hand and I went to close my fist It would bite me or if I press it against my face it would bite me now, I'm not advocating that you should go and pick up brown recluses, I'm not saying that at all, but I am just saying that these spiders are not going to just bite for no reason. They have to feel trapped, you know, and then they'll deliver a defensive bite to try to escape. Um, but as you can see, it's just chilling on my face right now. But if someone is bitten by a brown recluse, I mean, well, before I even go there, there's a lot of uh, misdiagnosed bites um, that, you know, people attribute a brown recluse to, um, or a lot of, uh, I should say wounds that they attribute the bite to, for example, like staph and bacterial infections, fungal infections, even like Lyme's disease. A lot of people often attribute those to a, uh, the bite to a brown recluse. And unless you like physically saw the spider bite you, then it's kind of hard to determine. But I will say that every bite, from a brown recluse kind of varies on the person, especially their, uh, um, their immune system and their circulatory system. And also the area in which the uh, envenomation happened. Now the genus Loxoceles has what's known as necrotic venom. This is venom that can cause necrosis, which is death and destruction of body tissue. And the main component, what's responsible for causing this uh, necrosis when they bite people is a special enzyme called sphingomyelinase. I can never say the word first try. Sphingomyelinase D. Sphingomyelinase D. Try saying that five times fast. Yes. Um, <laughs> but sphingomyelinase D is a special enzyme that gives the necrotic properties of uh, brown recluses and really just all Loxoceles uh, spiders that necrotic, uh, you know, skin melting, whatever. Now, I'm not, this is not fear mongering. I'm not saying every species is going to leave a, uh, a huge crater on your body. I'm not saying that at all. Loxosilis reclusa actually has a smaller uh, concentration of sphingolomyelinase D as opposed to other species of recluse spiders such as uh, Loxoceles leda, which is the Chilean recluse spider. Now they have a higher concentration of sphingolomyelinase D, which when they bite can actually cause this huge like bodily, you know, crater fleshy wounds within the body. Not saying that the brown recluse can, it's just not so much seen um, in this particular species. Now, not only looking at that particular enzyme, you also have to look at where the brown recluse will envenomate somebody. So typically uh, fattier areas within the body will actually be more severe than let's say um, I don't know, someone's elbow or their knee or you know a place like that where there's not much fat in that area. Uh, areas such as the thigh or you know someone's butt or um, someone's stomach you know if there's a higher concentration of fat then the bite believe it or not is actually going to be more severe than a part of the body that doesn't have as much fat so that you have to take that into consideration when um, a brown recluse bites you <laughs> now I'm not gonna be the one to sit here and tell you that brown recluses are you know quote unquote not dangerous or you know they are dangerous it really just depends on the person now if you are bitten by a brown recluse and you are concerned i would definitely go and seek medical attention go to a hospital go see a doctor they will treat you oftentimes the bite from a brown recluse will actually just heal on its own within a couple weeks um and you know you can use like antibacterial cream and other forms of antibiotics but um, yeah, if you're concerned, go definitely seek a doctor. I'm not going to tell you, you know, just rest up at home and you'll be just fine. Now, if you're concerned, go see a doctor. 
but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you have gained some respect and have learned a little bit about the infamous Loxoceles reclusa. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, if you could please leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon and turn on post notifications. Also follow me on Instagram at Kelvin Wiley and also on TikTok at Kelvin underscore Wiley. Check out my website, kelvinwiley.net. And I will see you guys in the next video.